coin holders prepare right now hit the like button subscribe for daily technical analysis and price prediction for the btc price this is dc trading let's get into the charts we do have a 24 hour warning why do i say that well looking at the news we have what four billion dollars worth of bitcoin options that's going to expire on friday which is tomorrow this is why it's a 24 hour warning taking a look down here we have 81,000 call options worth 2.24 billion and 60,000 put options worth 1.73 billion so this means there is going to be some volatility in the bitcoin price so we do need to be careful looking at the charts what do we see well on the daily time frame we have clearly not closed above this resistance of 20 8,400, which means what? Well, until we break above this resistance and close the daily time frame, we are not going to see $30,000 yet for the Bitcoin price. But if we take a closer look, we are inching closer and closer to a breakout very, very soon. If we take a look at the MACD, we see a red dot for a sell. And if we take a look at the volume, vol volume has slowed just a bit down. But with the news of Trump indictment, we may see the Bitcoin price rise. That's why I'm saying be careful because we're going to see a lot of volatility because $4 billion is set to expire tomorrow on Bitcoin options. But then we got the news of what? Trump. Also, everyone is paying attention to the XRP lawsuit against the SEC because Judge Torres might be coming out with a decision tonight or tomorrow. So we need to pay attention because the markets can move either way. Looking over here, as you guys can see, we are not really moving. We have been stuck around 28,000 to 27,000. So this means there is going to be a major what? Bitcoin move very, very soon. As you guys can see, as we inch closer and closer to this, we're eventually going to have to see a Bitcoin price jump very soon. Now, looking over here, if things go south and we do see a lot of volatility and the Bitcoin price decides to dump, well, this means we can see a $25,000 Bitcoin, which is very healthy and which is what I want to happen because we need to retest to confirm 25,000 is actually support for the Bitcoin price. Do you understand that? Now looking over here at the weekly EMA, very, very bullish still. As you guys can see, the Asian market is just open. That's why we are seeing the Bitcoin price somewhat rise. But I do expect by tomorrow, within the next 24 hours, we are going to see a big price move. If you take a look right here, we have two days, 23 hours to close. And as I said, we need to close above what? 28,400 to confirm a $30,000 Bitcoin quickly. Okay, so looking over here, where do, what do we see? Well, a lot of shorts positions or short bears or bears out here. Bitcoin bears decided to put short position and have their stop loss around what price? $29,359. There is a lot of money right here sitting around this price level waiting to get liquidated. So I'm saying, guys, right now is not a good time to what? Bet against Bitcoin. So please don't enter long positions. Please don't enter short positions because we are unsure of where the Bitcoin price is going. Banks are collapsing. The U.S. dollar is getting weaker. We have Trump indictment, but then we have this bearish news of what? $4 billion of Bitcoin options set to expire tomorrow. Do you understand? So it's going to be very interesting to see where the price of Bitcoin heads to. If we take a look right here on the S&P 500, well, we are seeing a green candle on the weekly time frame for the S&P 500, which is bullish for the crypto markets. Also, very bullish for what? 
for Bitcoin. The DXY is starting to get weaker and it looks like eventually it looks like it's ready to break down and retest the $100 or the 100 DXY. So please pay attention right now because what do we see? Well, it's getting weaker. There's not a lot of buying pressure from the Bitcoin price, but we are getting some indicators telling us what to sell on the MACD. We are seeing also what Bitcoin volatility uh, likely as options worth four billion set to expire on Friday. Also bearish, but we have Trump indictment that was just announced. Now looking over here, please pay attention what's going on because they are attacking crypto right now. Elizabeth Warren is building an anti-crypto army. You see guys, they're trying to attack crypto even though this is a solution to solve the liquidity issues and the trillions of dollars that America is in debt. Do you understand? But with that said guys, overall, I am unsure of where the Bitcoin price is going tomorrow which is Friday, it's going to be very interesting to see where the price heads to. Do we see a $30,000 Bitcoin? Do we see a $25,000 Bitcoin? Well, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. My price prediction is we do see a $25,000 Bitcoin tomorrow. With that said, peace.